this one question in permutation and combination where we are asked to find number of ways in which we can put certain distinct rings in 10 fingers you will find that answer to this question at many a places is wrong now first we look at a wrong way of solving this question and then we'll proceed to the correct way of approaching it now wrong way of solving this question is for this first ring we have 10 choices so we can write it as 10 now for second ring also we have 10 choices again for third it'll be 10 choices and I'll continue for all the six rings and that will be 10 to the power 6 which is your option 3 but this option is definitely incorrect now correct way of solving the question is we have 10 fingers Now, if we look at the first ring, for this first ring we have 10 choices. So it can put in any of the 10 fingers. Now, when I'm going to look at the second ring, for this second ring, I'll have 10 choices. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. And then since this first ring is already placed there, I'll have one more additional choice. Either I can put it above the ring or below the ring. So in this case, number of choices, it won't be 10, but it will be 11. So for the second ring, we'll have 11 choices. Now the second ring, it can be put either on the same finger as the first ring. So this first case is when these two rings they are put in the same finger or we have this other case when the two rings are placed in two different fingers. Now if we look at this third ring, now for this third ring also we will have 10 basic choices of putting it in different finger. So we have 10 basic choices. Now, if the two rings are placed in the same finger, then we'll have additionally two more choices. Either it can be put here, here or here. And since one of the choice we have already considered, so there'll be 10 plus two choices. And here also, it can be put in either of the rings. And we have considered all these basic cases. So there'll be two additional cases. So this third ring can be put into the finger in 12 ways. In the same way, fourth can be done in 13 ways, fifth can be done in 14 ways and sixth it can be done in 15 ways. So total number of ways will be 10 into 11 into 12 into 13 into 14 into 15 which is basically 15 P6 which is factorial n upon factorial n minus r which is simply the product of numbers from 10 to 15. So this is how we actually solve this question.